Hello and welcome to another episode of the Slash Raptor Show. I'm Slash Raptor, and today is March 1st, 2024. So that means it is time for another Pizza Project uh, installment. This time it's actually kind of cold out. Uh, unlike last week where it was actually plus seven on Friday. So this, this week in particular, it's been almost doubling the temperature or like at least adding 10 degrees with the wind chill. So it's been pretty damn cold. And when it's cold and when it's just snowed and the roads are icy or there's like patches of invisible ice underneath the snow, even if the roads are plowed, buses are late. So the problem that I have is this. If I'm going to order a pizza, I'm going to have to wait for a bus potentially up to 20 to 30 minutes outside in the cold and then do a review of it when I get there. Now I thought about having Royal Pizza deliver it to me and then just doing it there. Uh, but that costs like an extra six dollars uh, when I could just bring it home myself for free. So I'm gonna risk it. Three hours later. Alright, so I'm out of work and uh, just based on the weather, pretty good. The sun was out earlier like this morning when I was walking to work and uh, that made it nice. But uh, looks like it's a little cloudy, but it doesn't feel as uh, bitter or is like, is like just as grippingly cold. Because usually when it's really cold, you feel it like immediately as you step outside. Uh, but so far I don't need my gloves. Of course I have them, but I gotta go and get over to Royals, which is down that way. I think it's, I think it's neighbored with, I think it's neighbors with that closed down theater, the Paramount, if I remember correctly. So I gotta cross this street, which is the other side of Jasper, uh, from work and then go that way about a block and a half maybe two blocks pretty sure i can catch my 901 bus over here fairly certain uh because i believe it runs pretty much all the way up jasper actually that's not good 901 does not stop here of course it doesn't why would it that would make sense so it looks like it is closed down, this location. So that, that sucks. Um, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's not good. Uh -huh. So I have to go to a different location. I do know where that is, but now that I have to go that way to get to that place. And it's gonna be, I don't know, it might be easier it might be easier to get it home because oh, so I actually live pretty close to High Center, but it's like just before that. But I'm not sure what the easiest way to get in that direction from here is. So I will, uh, I will have to figure that out. Just because I wanted to see like, if it was a viable option, I uh, was going to go and order delivery so that I would just go to the location, do some of the B-roll footage, and then uh, it just go home and then have the pizza just come like delivered to me. Uh, but it wouldn't let me choose the Jasper location. And I couldn't figure out why, because I knew there was one there. And then I went and I looked at the Google Street View and uh, it was on Google Street View, but I guess it's still not there anymore because that picture was taken in 2018. So like six years later, I guess it's closed now, that particular location. So the site was hinting at this the whole time and I just didn't grasp why. It was telling me that the high center location is the closest center because it's the only one that's still open. 20 minutes later. All right, so I'm off the LRT. Um, on the Kingsway uh, platform. So now it's just a simple matter of walking down that way until I hit High Center. I actually live pretty close to High Center. Usually when I'm going here, I'm coming from my house or my apartment rather, which is that way. So I'm probably just gonna walk home with it. 
shouldn't be that long of a walk. It's usually maybe like 15 minutes because I can't really take a bus there. Very, very close to it now. And of course, now that I'm here, it feels colder, like at least six degrees colder. It was nice when I was walking to where I thought Royal Pizza was, but now that I'm here and I have to carry it from here home, it's great, it feels a little colder, but I can't, I can't think of another situation, which is why I was so gung-ho to go to the one that I thought was still downtown, because it would have avoided all of this. I could have brought it home on the bus and it would have been nice and warm when I, when I got it home. But, well, uh, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta play with the hand you're dealt. I will try not to make the coldness of the pizza affect my rating, because I it's usually not an issue for me, because I can just kind of nuke it a bit. Uh, but it was an unavoidable thing that I tried to prevent, so... All right, so here it is. Royal Pizza. very uh, nondescript building. I, um, I'm gonna have to make my own, it looks like, because I'm not seeing uh, a Canadian option here. Yeah. Although the meat lovers, I think, is a thing, right? That's actually more expensive for that one than it is for just, yeah, it's like, yeah, this is like, the uh, meat lovers is like $6 more than uh, just the pepperoni is. So that's, that's a noticeable difference for the same size. Let's see if I can just do like a custom thing. <sighs> Yeah, pe pepperoni, bacon, uh, mushroom. Yeah. Green pepper. Yeah. And extra sauce. Extra sauce. Anything else? No, that's it. Uh, about uh, 30, 35 minutes. So a large with extra sauce, with bacon, green pepper, mushroom, and pepperoni. Four toppings. Yeah. Is that right? Okay, yeah. 3071? 371? 3071. Oh, okay. 30 bucks. Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, do you have any drinks that I could... Uh, we have Coke products, so one can or two neither. Uh, I'll just get a can. All right, so it is actually going to be about half an hour of a wait. Um, so it's not like the other places where they fire it up pretty quick, but that's okay. It's about the same price as, um, as a pizza garage. But it's, uh, it's pretty nice in here and it's quiet. So I'm, I might just, uh... I might just stay here and eat it because there's a uh, it's it's very quiet and it's a uh, it's got decent lighting and I did bring my tripod thingy with my min miniature tripod with me so for this particular episode I might uh, just do that instead because yeah I got about I got about half an hour to kill at the very least so yeah I uh, will uh, all right I guess I'll just sit here and uh, relax all right so it is here. A bit longer than half an hour, but whatever. It's not like I'm I have anything to do today So uh, let's take a look at the pizza I would just first of all like to say that this is a very small large uh, for what I'm used to Usually a medium is about 12 in is about 12 inches in this at this place. That's uh, that's the large um, So this this box I might be able to fit in my backpack to take the leftovers home. Uh, we'll see though. Oh yes, I do remember that these pe that uh, these guys cut their pizzas, um, cut this cut this, the round pizzas in squares. It's an acquired uh, a th thing, in my opinion. But uh, um, on first impressions, that looks delicious, and it's very fresh. And uh, unlike the um, pizza garage uh, mistake that I made, the pizza sauce is underneath the cheese where it belongs. And just in case I added more, I uh, asked for ex extra sauce. So this is what I usually get at um, most places that I go to nowadays. If they have a Canadian, then it doesn't usually have green peppers, but I like green peppers on pizza. So let's uh, go ahead and take um, a closer look. It's kind of hard to use uh, to, to do that for this cut on pizza, but 
you can see that it's uh, very fresh and uh, br the bread is nice and thick and uh, everything looks very uh, layered. Looks like it's holding together very well and it doesn't seem like there's um, like it's the uh, dripping sauce or um, any oil or grease like uh, a lot like like a, the very common pizza issue. Despite having extra sauce, it doesn't really, I'm not really tasting any sauce, it's, it's pretty dry. Not as dry as the, um, the garage, the pizza garage, but that was a particular style of pizza. And, um, I had to, I had to take what I, what I got. It's a rule for these uh, videos. It hadn't been an issue, uh, with any of the burger things because, um, they all had, like, I, I get the same thing in every place that I do for this, for this reason. Um, but that particular place had three different options and I personally don't really like very, very thin crusts. And I thought that the, and I, I know that New York pizza is very thin, so I, I, I opted for what I thought would be the closest thing to um, a deep dish. And I was wrong, but whatever. Anyway, um, it almost looks like there's no sauce at all on here. Try a different bite. Now, like you can see that there should be sauce, but that was a better one. It wasn't as dry, but still without very much sauce, and I'm not really, I'm not really tasting the uh, the toppings at all. Very weird. Mostly it tastes like bread. Okay. He's perfect. These corner pieces are uh, not very appealing. But you can eat that whole you can eat the whole piece in just one bite. There was a bit more sauce on that one, but there was no toppings. I always try and leave the, um, the middle pieces where there's no crust for the last. It's usually the best pieces, but it's also the hardest ones to eat because there's no crust. Mm -hmm. Let's take this one. Ooh. Like you can see that there's sauce on there. <laughs> better in terms of like sauce it's weird it's um it's inconsistent as to how moist each bite is which is weird like again which is like because it's just kind of weird because when you put pizza on a sauce you, your goal is to make it so that each piece 
has like an even layer level. This kind of needs dipping sauce, which is again, extremely ironic because unless this is regular sauce and they forgot the extra sauce, um, it's like, this is like very, very dry for pizza. I don't think, I didn't even know it was possible for pizza to be dry, unless it's like a flatbread pizza where there's, it's like not supposed to be wet. This is very peculiar. Again, some of the bites are moister or uh, have more sauce. It's just inconsistent. It's like you're, it's like an RNG, deter it's like an RNG determining which sauce or wh which piece will have a, like, the, like a, a more noticeable amount of sauce. It's very peculiar. Like it's not, a, it's not bad, obviously, because you can see that I'm able to eat it, but it's just nothing impressive and it's, very dry for uh, the majority of the pieces. But when there is sauce, it's, 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 it still feels like there's not very much. Like even the, even the one from Pizza Garage felt like it had more sauce. Although all of the sauce is on the top, because that's like a, that's like a particular style. But like it, it, it like it like dripped on my shirt. I remember that. This is like this feels like it was um dehydrated. The crust almost feel like it was made separately, and then they just put the topping like on top of it. It's like the like the crust is absorbing all the moisture from the thing and with it a large majority of the flavor. And I tell you, third and I tell you. $30 is a lot of money for a 12 inch large with no sauce on the thing that I requested to have extra sauce. There's also quite a weight. Like I'm pretty sure you can make a pizza faster than that. There were a lot of skip the dishes and DoorDash drivers coming in and out. So it seems like they were prioritizing those orders over mine. Because they, and I think they brought it. I think they brought it out, and we're going to give it to a skip driver when he's like, "No, no, 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 this isn't part of my order." So then, like, she had, like, lady had to go to the back, check on like the, uh, check on, on like on like the cooks, and then like, "Oh, this is for you." It's like they almost forgot about me. Just as it is, I'm I'm going to give these guys a five. That's a that's a lot of money, and it's a very small pizza. And I, they 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 either didn't hear me about the extra sauce, or they don't, or this is, or their the amount of sauce that they put on their pizzas is so small that even with extra sauce, it feels dehydrated, and uh, a lot of the pieces are bland. Um, so I I'm not that impressed.
and uh, I, I wouldn't have bothered with this place if I re- if I remembered anything about that very first time because that was about four years ago now that I, I last had these guys. Maybe they've changed since then, but I do. But I did remember that they had that they put cut the pieces that they cut the round pizza in squares. So that that part hasn't changed. And it's, it, it even says, like, right on the box, more than just great pizza. Um, depends on what your definition of great is. Um, I, I would say that this is average at best. And that's only for the pizza, and that's only for the, for the slices or squares or whatever that have, like, a decent amount of sauce. Because all the other ones, it just feels like a, like a dry cracker. And it's, like, crunchy, like, uh, like goldfish. So anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode of the Slash Raptor Show. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future for more cool stuff. Peace out. Oh, right. Peace out. Hang on.